as a scent as their new 120mm all-in-one liquid cooler, the Blizzard 120, for us to check out. Now, I am cooling my Ryzen 5 1600 with a Wraith Prism, and it's already doing a great job in keeping the temperatures in check compared to its stock cooler. I do not doubt that this will improve the temperatures of my CPU. But the question is, by how much? Let's find out. Hello once again everyone, it is Jello here, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the very first 120mm all-in-one cooler from Aza, the Blizzard 120. So let's take a look at the contents. For this cooler, they are using their 120mm Hurricane 2 ARGB fan in white, which has a 4-pin PWM connector and 3-pin ARGB connectors. There's also a user's manual, which is universal for all versions of this cooler. This cooler is also compatible with either AMD or Intel, so it has brackets for both. And of course, a tube of thermal paste. It also has a dedicated ARGB controller that can toggle between lighting modes. And finally, we have the cooler itself. For the pump, it has a 3-pin fan connector and 3-pin ARGB connectors. Now for our baseline temperatures, I ran a stress test with Cinebench R20 on my Ryzen 5 1600. The temperature reached 60 degrees almost immediately upon running the test and reached a maximum of 64 degrees. So let's install the Blizzard 120 and see how much of an improvement we can get. Running a stress test again with Cinebench R20, the temperatures barely reach 60 degrees and it's also so much quieter compared to the Wraith Prism. We did get at least a 4 degree improvement and also better acoustics. The Blizzard 120 has an MSRP of around 2,800 pesos, so I think this is positioned to compete with more expensive and more popular brands out in the market. So if you're looking to upgrade from your stock cooler and would want a good quality, high performance, 120mm AIO cooler which is compatible with most ARGB motherboard software out there, then you can't go wrong with this one. So like this video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss any updates. And that is it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what kind of content that you'd like to see next. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.